Let us look at the problem 6. A man of 90 kg climbs up to the Paspatinas temple. He climbs 40 stairs in 2 minutes. Height of each stair is 20 cm. What is the power of the man? In this problem, we have to find the power of the man. We know that power is given by work done upon time taken. And work is given by force into displacement or distance in the direction of force applied. And we know that force m into g this is d and t so in this problem we have given a mass mass is given 90 kg a man of 90 kg so mass is given 90 kg climb up to the paspatina temple he climb 40 stair in 20 minute in sorry in 2 minute so time is 2 minute time is 2 minute and stair total stair is stair is 40 but height of each stair height of height of each stair is 20 centimeter so so height total height so total height is 40 into 20 this much centimeter because each stair each stair is 20 centimeter and we have 40 stair 40 stair one stair one stair means 20 centimeter and we have 40 stair 40 stairs then 20 into 40 this much centimeter so total height become 800 centimeter now what is the power of the man so in this problem we have to find the power and this is the first step we have written this all given but we have to convert in SI unit then the unit of time is second but it is given in minute so we have to convert in second so it become 120 second and height is also given in centimeter so it become 8 meter so we know that power is given by work done upon time taken so work is given by f into d here work is f into d so we can write f into d upon t and force is given by m into g so m into g and we have here d by t so mass is given 90 kg and g is given yes g is given here 10 g is given 10 and distance or height same thing distance or height is same distance is given 8 and time and time is given 120 120 second so just solve it 19 to 10 into 8 then divide with 120 then we get 60 60 and the unit of power is what so this is the required power that is 60 watt let us move to the next problem problem number seven in this problem a bullet of mass five gram so the mass of bullet is given mass is given 
so first of all write whatever given in the question that is 5 gram mass is given is fired with the velocity velocity is given 400 meter per second so write b velocity is given 400 meter per second what is the kinetic energy kinetic energy we have to find the kinetic energy kinetic energy equal to what we know that kinetic energy equal to 1 by 2 m v square this is the formula of kinetic energy but first of all we have to change this into SI unit the unit of mass is kg so we have to change here into kg so it becomes 5 divided 1000 it becomes 0. Point, it becomes 0. 0.005 kg then velocity is given meter per second it is right so we know that kinetic energy equal to 1 by 2 mv square so 1 by 2 mass is given 0 0.005 and velocity is given 400 into 400 v square means we have to multiply v twice so just solve it multiply it and divide with 2 then we get 400 we get 400 and what is the unit of kinetic energy energy means joule so this is the required kinetic energy that is 400 joule let us look at the next problem problems it a stone drop from a 5 meter 5 meter tall cliff if all its potential potential energy get converted into kinetic energy this is the condition in this problem potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy so this is the condition potential energy get converted into kinetic energy calculate the speed of the calculate the speed of the stone just before it touches the bottom of the cliff and g is given 10 meter per square second so in this problem we have to find the speed speed of the stone so the condition is given kinetic energy kinetic energy and potential energy are equals potential energy equal to kinetic energy but we have given here a stone drop from a 5 meter tall cliff so height is given height is given 5 meter so we know that and g is given 10 meter per square second and we know that potential energy is given by m g h kinetic energy given by 1 by 2 m v square so this m and m get cancelled this is g as height 1 by 2 and v square so g is given 10 and height is given 5 1 by 2 v square we have to find the speed that is v of the stone just before it touches the bottom of the cliff so it become 10 5 ja 50 it is in division so it comes in multiplication equal to v square so 50 into 2 means 100 
yes hundred this v square this square come when this square comes this side then it comes in what it becomes what root root under equal to v so it becomes 10 now what is the unit of velocity meter per second so it becomes 10 meter per second this is the required velocity or speed of the stone just before it touches the bottom of the cliff this is the required answer